Hey everybody, it's Dr. Kara, and I'm wondering if you have met your personal spirit guide yet, and if not, why not? Because I think spirit guides are great for everybody to connect with, to get to know, to develop a relationship with. And in this video, I want to give you my perspective on how important my spirit guide actually spirit guides, have been for me both personally and professionally. So let's talk spirit guides. First, what is a spirit guide? So a spirit guide is a special spiritual helper who is like your personal assistant on the other side. They have um, all of these ways to harness the forces of nature on your behalf. They work with the spiritual elements to help you grow, to evolve, to become a better person, to learn the lessons that you're here to learn, to help you share your gifts and fulfill your purpose and achieve your potential. And they also help connect us to the important people, places, and events that are going to be significant to us, that will help us in our lives. So they are such a great resource. And most people don't even know that they have one. And everybody has one. And they are there to help us, but you have to ask. So today I'm going to show you, um, explain to you like three different ways that my spirit guides help me professionally and three ways that my spirit guides have helped me personally. And there's more ways than this, I'm sure, but these are kind of the biggies for me. So um, let's talk about professionally because animal communicators, you wouldn't think that they need to work with a spirit guide, right? Like they're talking to animals and everything is groovy. But in reality, the number one reason that I love having a spirit guide is that it's my spirit guide that connects me to the animals that I talk to. So they facilitate that connection. And I'm always asked, like, do I ever not get anything? And the answer is no, because I have this great team who's supporting me and helping me. So by having my spirit guide connect me with the animal that I am am talking to and working with it's a strong connection it happens every time it's reliable and if that alone isn't enough i've got more reasons but i think that every animal communicator can use a spirit guide on their team to facilitate that whole connection and then the whole process of talking to them the second thing that um professionally i rely on my guides for is to give me more information. So I actually have seven guides that I work with every single time that I do a reading for a person or for an animal. And I structure my sessions so that I take time at the beginning of the session to call each one in individually and see if they have a, a special message for my client, either human or animal. And they have their specializations. That's why there's seven of them. So they each have their narrow, their area of focus. And oftentimes they give me extra information that I might have missed or might not have gotten or that they think is really important for my client or my client's um, animal to, to know about, to understand, to get that message. So they are a source of information for myself and for my clients. And so that's the second reason that I really rely on them um, professionally. And the third reason I've already kind of hinted at, and that is the specialization. So um, I have a physical level healing guide. I have emotional healing guide. I have my regular old spirit guide. I have a spiritual teacher guide. And I have three more guides who have kind of cover different areas of life. So one is really about being smart and playing and having fun. One is about parenting and nurturing and taking care of yourself. And the other is really focused on how, what, what lessons you need to learn now and what message you need to get through this particular challenge. So they all have kind of, they're all spirit guides. They're all on the other side. One's my mom who passed um, about 25 years ago. And they all have the different things that they specialize in and that they bring that richness to every professional thing that I do. I call them in for my 
um, animal communication sessions. I call them in for energy healing. I call them in for intuitive readings for people. They're with me when I write books. Um, professionally, I feel like I'm the NASCAR driver and they're the pit crew. Like I'm the one that you see, but they're the ones behind the scenes making everything happen. So if you're an animal communicator or a healer and you have not connected with your spirit guide yet, go and do it. And I'll tell you more about how to do that in just a minute. But um, I also want to share that personally, I have benefited in three major ways from connecting and building these relationships with all of these different guides. They've all helped me in different ways. So um, when my husband was sick, they literally helped me save his life. I was going to fall apart myself, and it was my guides who, when I was walking the dogs every morning, they would come and talk to me and boost me and give me information and give me direction and help make connections, and um, they literally helped me save his life, and that the importance of that cannot be understated. <laughs> it's not an exaggeration. It's, it's literal. I wouldn't have made it through that time without my guides. And if I hadn't have made it, he wouldn't have made it. So um, very, very grateful for that. Um, they also can help give me insight into any challenges that I have in my personal relationships with colleagues or friends or family or whatever. I also go to them to say, hey, what's going on here? Can you help me make you know, ease this disagreement or ease this conflict or this misunderstanding. And they help me with things like that. Um, they help me in my business. They help me to choose good directions and get connected with the right people. And my favorite spirit guide story is when my family was at Disney World and we had a crappy day the first day we just kept missing everything and getting in long lines and it was just hard and um and this was like almost gosh like 10 years ago or something and the next day we went back and I was like hey guides can you just help us like help us just have a good fun day and that was really it it was just kind of this plea or request to help us and that day was like magic we got like walked on to all the rides right when we were done everybody else was leaving the thing we wanted to go to next we hardly waited in any lines everything just flowed easily and naturally we all got hungry at the same time when does that happen we all felt like sitting down to have lunch at the same time we all felt like doing the same thing at the same time and it was available when we wanted it so um, it was a really dramatic difference from one day to the next. And the only thing that changed was me remembering that I had this team that wanted to help me. And I just asked them for help. I don't even know which one helped necessarily. I just know that they did. So personally, professionally, developing a relationship with your spirit guide, I think, is key to knowing that somebody's out there that's got your back, knowing that you can make good direct, good decisions and move in a good direction, that you will be helped and supported and loved, and that life will be easier. You can make decisions and trust that you're on the right path because you have that extra little assurance from your guides who are helping you too. So, um, that's that's my plug for spirit guides i guess is what you would say they have helped me personally and professionally in so many ways they show up every day i call on them um, every time i do anything for work and i also call on them when i remember <laughs> in my personal life too and they'd be around a lot more if i remembered more often and i'm sure my life would be even easier and more fun if i remembered to ask them for more help but they're always there so um if you want to connect with your spirit guide, the next video in this series is all about three ways that you can connect. So go and watch that and also look for my Meet Your Spirit Guide class, which is live this month and will also be on demand later. So if you're watching this video and it's after August of 2020, um, you can still take the class on demand anytime you want to connect with your guide and to start to build that relationship and start to learn how to 
contact them and connect with them and ask them for help and get help and get confirmation about when they're there and all kinds of really good stuff. It's a super fun, exciting, exciting class and always surprising. So I hope you'll join me there. But more than that, I hope that if you have not yet connected with your spirit guide, that you will do it ASAP and, um, and start to build that relationship that will help make your life easier, funner, more fulfilling, give you more confidence, more comfort level with all the decisions you make and just basically make life better. Who could ask for more than that? All right, I got to shut up now because I'll just keep talking and talking and talking. But I hope to see you soon and I hope that you have a, a great connection with your spirit guide. Have a great day. Bye everybody.